Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to solve another JavaScript question. The question is, we have to implement fetch with timeout. So basically, we have to override the original fetch function and we have to create a new fetch function that will accept a duration in which the API call has to be completed. If the API call is not completed within that duration, then it has to be aborted. So as you can see on the screen here, I have this function fetch with timeout. This will take the URL and the duration in which it has to complete the API call. If it is not able to complete the API call in the given duration, the API call has to be aborted. So let's start implementing this. Let me create this function fetch with timeout and it will accept the URL and the duration, the timeout duration in which it has to complete the API call. And here, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to return a new promise. So as we have to abort the API call, what I'm doing is I'm creating a promise and inside that promise, I'll add all my logic. So there is a new API that has been introduced for fetch. A new property has been introduced for fetch, not API. This property can be used to abort any network calls or API calls that is going through fetch. It is called as abort controller. So as the name specify, abort controller help us to abort any API call as and when required. We can use it to cancel the ongoing API call. So I am going to create the controller, a new instance of abort controller that we are going to use to control the API call. This controller returns us a signal property that we can use that we pass to the fetch method and using which we are able to monitor the API call and then we are able to uh, abort the request if required. So I am extracting the signal property. Now here I am going to pass the URL to the original fetch method and then the signal property. So this signal will help us to monitor the request now after that i'm going to wrap because the fetch will return a promise so i'm going to wrap that in the then and catch block so inside catch then and catch so inside catch if we receive error we are going to reject the promise with the error that we receive otherwise in the response so if we receive the response, we have to convert the response to response JSON so that we can destructure the data that we receive and we can pass it further to the application in the original format. This response.json also returns a promise. So either you can use multiple then blocks or you can directly assign then to the response.json itself. So I'm going to assign it to itself and here we are going to get the value and this can also throw the error so I am again wrapping that to the error block so to avoid this multiple catches right this nested we can return the response and then that can be handled in another then block and we can have a single catch block to handle the request it's up to you how you want to code this now here once we got the response we are going to resolve otherwise again we are going to reject with the error so now here the api call is working properly so we made the api call and as per the response that we are receiving we are resolving or rejecting the parent promise now to abort the api in case it has been not successfully uh, fulfilled or uh, 
result in the given duration what i'm going to do is i'm going to run a set timeout now the set timeout it will take the duration and what it will going to do is we are going to say controller dot abort this will abort the api if it has not been fulfilled in the given duration so this set time it will run parallelly to the fetch and in case the api is not resolved in the given duration the set time out will execute and it will abort the controller sorry it will abort the api request now here i am going to use a timer id this timer id because in case if the api is fulfilled before the timeout so we are going to clear the timer and clean up the memory so i am going to just clear the timeout and clean up the memory in case the api is resolved before the set timeout was able to run so that's it i think this should work now let's try so i am going to save this and run this again let's see if we are getting the response or not so here we are able to get the response within 100 millisecond that means the api was able to resolve within 100 milliseconds now let me add a log over here just for demonstration so that i can you know check if uh, the function is uh, this abortion has worked properly or not let me run this again so again i should get the response see it was now this time it was aborted so it was not able to finish within the 100 millisecond let me clear this and run again so see this time it was able to fulfill and it was not aborted so depending upon how much the api is taking it was able to uh um, if it is taking more than 100 millisecond it is getting aborted in if it is getting resolved within the time limit so we are getting the response now what i'll do is i'm going to throttle the request so throttling throttling help us to check or to manage the network speed in the browser so we can always either we can disable the throttling or we can slow the speed of the network as per our requirement so i am going to use slow 3g slow 3g will dynamically sorry drastically reduce the network speed and then we will be able to successfully test our code so let me save this again and run this now because i am running on slow 3g you will see that it will be aborted every time because this request won't be able to fulfill within 100 millisecond there is no chance so see this was aborted let me clear this run again you will see it will again abort so see it was aborted now if i increase the duration to 1000 millisecond then also it won't be able to run it will always abort because on the slow 3g network it will take more than 1000 millisecond to complete the api call see it was aborted now if i increase this to a limit of 5000 millisecond which is 5 seconds then you will see that the api gets fulfilled so if you have a high latency application where you want to monitor that your api should resolve in given amount of time then you can implement this function and you can handle that the api should be resolved in this duration otherwise it should be cancelled so it is one of the important interview questions that you can expect for performance i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time